This episode is brought to you by Mortgage Workflow Partners and the Mastering Encompass series, both for users as well as administrators. You can find out all the information about it over at masteringencompass.com. Also, if you'd like to check out what we're doing on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel using the at Mastering Encompass handle and make sure you stay up to date on all the information, not just with podcasts, but also video content that we bring to you as often as possible. Now let's get on to the episode. Hey everyone, I thought it would be important to really share exactly how much money you can make in the mortgage industry because right now we're poised to potentially get into another opportunity where companies are going to be hiring again. And if you thought that there wasn't an opportunity, let me show you what's happened with me over the last 30 years. So the data you see on screen is from Social Security, right? It's from ssa.gov login. You can see this yourself, assuming you've reported your income. And so that's what I've been doing over here. You can see where I started in lending in 1993. I started as a loan processor. I don't remember my salary exactly, but I think it was somewhere around $50,000, so at least 40. Um, and that was mad money to me. I'm in my early 20s, and I've got no finished college uh, degree. I went to college, never finished it, because I had a wife and a baby, and I needed to make some money. And so I went and joined a, a small little mortgage broker shop in uh, in New Jersey, and uh, they gave me a chance to sit down and, and do a very, very simple job and make a really good living. As soon as I figured out that I knew more than the average Joe or Jane in the mortgage industry, I used that information and I used that uh, opportunity to really seize on some great moments. And you can see in here where I made nearly $1.3 million dollars and taxable income uh, between the years of 2001 and 2005. And for those that don't know, there was a little bit of a refi boom. Now, nothing compared to what we just saw um, a few years ago here in, uh, in, in the early uh, 2020s. But the, the idea here was um, this is when interest rates, if you could imagine this, interest rates got down to 6% and everybody was going crazy. So there it is. And what happened after that I went and tried to open up my own mortgage company, it failed, declared bankruptcy, um, the whole thing, like huge, huge stress points for me and the family. And then I uh, turned around, worked through, hustled my butt off to try to get back to some semblance of stability. And in 2009, went to work for um, some other companies. And then ultimately, I got into the technology side, which is where I am today, which is why this whole channel even exists for Mastering Encompass. So I got into the technology side. I went to work for Ellie Mae, and they were paying me $80,000 a year. And again, you can see my income here. I'm like, please, I'll take it. I'll take anything. So in 2011, I, I make $80,000, and then you can see the numbers grow. Um, my biggest year really from there in terms of taxable income was, was 2021, when I made 324000 I left that company at that time to go do my own thing and create mortgage workflow partners and create this idea of mastering Encompass and this idea of taking all these years of experience and all these years of knowledge and all the different positions that I held and turn it into something to where I can control what gets shared. I can share it in the way that I know is, is important for others to learn from. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you right now isn't to do anything like brag or something like that. That's just nuts because money comes and goes really quick, honestly. What I'm showing this for you is I can give you a clear path for what you can have as far as opportunities in different areas of the mortgage industry if you're interested. So if you're interested in learning more about how to get into the mortgage industry or how to perform uh, your best possible uh, self in a certain role, whether it be in sales or processing operations. Um, there is an enormous amount of opportunity in the lending industry, but there's no classes, right? You don't go to college to learn how to get into the mortgage industry. And I'm not saying I'm here to save the world on this topic, but I am here to say I know a few things. And I am here to say that I can share this information and I'm going to be sharing this information with you. So do me a favor and subscribe to this channel, Mastering Encompass, Stick with it. There's going to be playlists that really explain how you can follow in these footsteps. This is not pie in the sky stuff. This is very real. This is very tangible. And it's very possible. Uh, so uh, certainly none of what I'm saying is a guarantee. 
None of what I'm saying is a guarantee of employment. But if you're out there and you're willing to hustle and you're willing to learn and you can show someone that you know more than the other person, this path is really not that far off, especially in today's money. So I'll leave you with this note. Um, when you go forward in your career, if you're not making the kind of money that you're looking for and you're in the mortgage industry, chances are either A, you don't really know what you think you know and everybody else that you work for realizes that and they're just kind of letting you be, or B, if you actually are the star of your organization, you're not asking for the right kind of money. And what I usually tell people is even people who work for me and work for Mortgage Workflow Partners or work for Awesome Technologies, Inc., what I explain is you're worth as much to the company as you are to the clients. So when you go and look at how much you're getting paid, if your value to the company is not represented in that, I would suggest that you take another look at that situation and evaluate what it is that you're doing. And for me personally, that's why I left this company in 2021 when I had a very high position there and, but I had no ownership. I had no vested interest. And quite honestly, the, you know, the company or anybody could have come along and said, Larry, it's been great. Um, have a nice day. And that doesn't leave me in a great position. So um, I chose to take control. I chose to take ownership of my actions and ownership of my opportunity. And that's what I wanted to share with you today is this is the real money that's possible. Remember, from 2000, and th uh, excuse me, from 1993, wrong decade, from 1993 up until 2021, I always worked for somebody else, always. Um, and then, then I became self-employed and then I became, but that was a long time coming. That was a long time coming, a lot of education. And so I hope you learn everything you can from Mastering Encompass and from myself. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Check them out. And please let me know if you want to learn anything. Write it in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'll get back to you straight in the comments. Thank you.